few companies in the test equipment space have such a legendary reputation as Danaher Tectronics. The Danaher Tectronics oscilloscope family more or less built oscilloscopes. And now there is a great book which I want to introduce today, which looks at the history of these products. And yes, before we get into the actual book, I have to make an honesty disclaimer. I do Moonlight as an acquisitions editor for Elector. So if anybody of you wants to write a book with one of the most famous electronics publishers, and does not want to have the quarrel which you usually have with a publisher, this here is my email address. So shoot me an email and I will see what I can do for you. And yes, I do receive a small compensation for every author which I bring, but the head tax is minimal compared to my income. And so I'm only saying this as an honesty disclaimer. And so here we have the super solid, as you see, all color book, which I mentioned before, and which is just an absolute celebration of the history of the vintage Tektronics oscilloscope. And yes, this is a really heavy full color book. And as you can see already from the way it is presented, obviously, it also is a superior present for the electrical engineer in your life who's got basically everything. And yes, as we can see here, Beccatini basically covers the classic series. So he basically puts the cut off right before the TDS family. So if you expect a detailed discussion of the digital phosphor oscilloscope, this is not the book for you, but as you can see here, there are more than enough other interesting topics which make this still more than a worthy read. And yes, of course, the most important thing first, the money shots. As you see here, there's loads and loads of full color pictures showing the classic construction of electronics and for tube freaks of course there are also lots and lots of photos of tube electronics along sometimes as you see here with some classic bits of tectronics history provided by the tectronics museum and yes the book is not limited just to presenting what was but as you can see here, there are also repair reports, which basically look at common faults in any of these classic oscilloscopes. And so if you have one of these in the laboratory and it breaks down, or you want to repair it, the book basically tells you where to look and where to start. And yes, of course, everybody who knows me knows I'm a fan of digital oscilloscopes. And in the case of the 11,000 series, Tektronics really introduced some amazing features, which are documented in lots and lots of screenshots, as you see here. And what is really quite unique is that you see also the programming on the PC side and even some of the vintage software such as here the Windows 3.1 client for the oscilloscope get discussed in considerable detail. And yes, just because it is so rare to see Windows 3.1 nowadays, here you see again the taskbar. This is really some A-grade vintage computing. And yes, when it comes to collecting the oscilloscopes, of course, there are also quite a bit of guidances here. 
for example, for the 7000 series of products, you get these overview pages, which basically show you what is available on the individual series. And then in the following pages, you get these tables also. So you really get a good overview. If you, for example, want a Tektronix 7000 in your laboratory, the book tells you what to buy and what is on the market so that you don't spend your money foolishly. When it comes to the 7000 series in particular, Beccatini really loves them. And as you see here, inside of the book, you find two links to additional ebooks which contain further information on the topics at hand. The 2400 series is one of these oscilloscopes, which you do still find a lot in the laboratory today. And as you see here, there is quite a bit of stuff about it, which also goes into the circuit construction in some detail. So for example, here we see the discussion of the CCD chain. And while flash ADCs, of course, have become quite a bit faster, this is still very interesting, not only from an electronics history point of view, but also as it allows you to understand how digital signal acquisition has developed over time. In this sector, of course, there is also, as you can see here, the usual amount of really, really well done oscilloscope screenshots, such as here, where the enveloper function is demonstrated in considerable detail. Just before we end the discussion of this tome, I still want to mention pages such as these here, which provide context on the technology and also on frequently seen repairs. And with that, I wanted to thank you for your attention. See you all around soon. And yes, if any one of you wants to also write a book with Elector, just let me know via my email address and I will see what I can do for you.